All right, hello grade eights and welcome to lesson 2.7, solving percent problems uh, found on page 72 of your textbooks. And the goal is to use proportions to solve percent problems. All right, let us go forward here. And the problem is a radio station reported that 4,015 people under the age of 16 attended a concert. This was 22% of the total attendance. The question they're asking you is how many people attended the concert? So here's the numbers that are given. 4,015, and that's 22% of the total. We want to know what is the entire attendance at the concert. So let's make an estimate here. Estimate the total number of people at the concert. So the number you were given is 4,015. This accounts for 22% of the total. So we have to estimate the total number of people. Now, 22, close to 25, maybe a quarter, 4 times 4,000, about 16, but it could be between 16,000 and 20,000. So just to be safe, let's say 18,000 people were in attendance at this concert. So. Let's just go with that and let's see how close we are to this estimate. Okay, so see how we got that? 4,000 um, times 4 because this is close to 25%. Okay, 4, 25% make 100%. All right, so that's how we came up with that. All right, let's move on here. Uh, now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to pause and take these notes down whenever you need to uh, and slow it right down for you. So I will move as quick as I'm moving, but you can stop me whenever you want by using the pause button. All right, so use the given information to write a proportion that shows the how much is the percentage in a fraction format. What is the whole? We don't know, but we know the part. So let's take a look here. So this should be 22, this is 22%. We'll say it's 22 over 100. Okay, part we know 22% is 4,015. We don't know what this is. All right, so we're given this. That is 22 out of 100. 22% equals 22 over 100. The part that this 22% is is 4,015. But we don't know what the whole, we don't know what the, the complete attendance was for this show. All right, so let's take a look here. Now, what scale factor can you multiply or divide each number on the left side by to make the ratios equivalent? Scale factor, well, we're given 4,015. We can divide that by 22 percent. So let's take out the handy dandy calculator over here. All right, so 4,015 divided by 22 equals 182.5. So this is your scale factor. How do you get the scale factor? By dividing what we were given by its percentage. And this is giving you the scale factor. Now I need to multiply this um, by, I need to multiply these two numbers together, these two numbers, to get my total. So let's try this. Let us try this. Okay, so, all right, so we're given 22 over 100, okay? So it's equal to, we don't know, well, we do know that, okay, but we don't know this. So let's try this. So 22, twenty two times, remember our scale factor was 1, 82.5 is our scale factor. So let's work that out. So 22 
22 times 182.5. We get that. Now we'll take that same number and multiply it by 100. So let's take it here 182.5 times 100 equals 18,000. 250. So all we did was we multiplied them by the scale factor. Okay. And that's what we came out with. So the total was 18,250. So, how many people attended the concert? 18,250. Check your solution is reasonable by comparing it with your estimate in step A. So, step A, we said that 22% is about 25% in and around kind of okay and then we multiply that by 4 give us 16 between 16 and 25 20,000 so we came up with a nice number in the middle of 18,000 so 18,000 compared to 18,250 yeah we were good we came up with 18,250 we thought that that was reasonable now ladies and gentlemen feel free to pause go back review and again, we will be going through this next day in class. If you have any problems, any issues, um, try these. So for next class, come prepared with this. Again, give it an attempt. Try it. Um, check in the back of the book if you're correct or not. Don't come with them, you know, with uh, no explanation, no formulas. Um, but just try this. And if you get it wrong, that's cool, because uh, we're going to go through it. We'll go through these examples in class, but give it an attempt and see if you've got it. If not, we'll go through it together as a class, all right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and let us see you in class. All right, bye-bye.